back, everybody. It's Jill with Go English Coach. So what I've got for you guys now is just a review of some tenses, okay? And we usually start in the in intermediate classes with present tense and present progressive. So for present tense, then in English, we use this usually only to discuss things that we do every day or like as a routine, right? There are some other times that we use present tense. For example, you can say, when does your flight arrive, right? That's the present tense. You're using that with a question, with the do auxiliary. And you're actually asking about something in the future, right? You can also say, when will your flight arrive? But we'll get to kind of some of those other circumstances a little bit in the future. So let's kind of get started here. So let's start with present tense. This part is probably fairly easy for you guys. So I like to use, in English, I like to use kind of like a formula. So subject, right? This is our subject. I, you, he, she. So part of learning language is kind of learning the pieces of the language. Um, we have here often. So it's an adverb of frequency, and we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. And then you have the verb, right? And in English, we have a, a pretty strict rule for the order of words, whereas in Spanish, it's easier to move words in different orders, and it still has the same meaning. E this is easy to see when we're looking at present tense. Um, so we always have, you know, typically we say subject, verb, object. So in general, in the world of language teaching, we call English an SVO language, okay? Meaning it's the order is most of the time subject, verb, and then object, okay? In Spanish, it can be a little more, Spanish is a little more flexible. You can sometimes have the verb in the beginning and the subject can move. And so that's kind of something to think about. English is a little more like it needs to have this order. Um, you know, in more um, advanced parts of English, maybe like poetry or, you know, very high level writing or academic writing, sometimes those things can change. But in general, we use the this order. So subject verb object. So this is the affirmative or the positive, right? Pretty easy. I often travel. So if we, I think sometimes when people have to use the negative, then we get a little, it's like a little bit more work, right? So to make this sentence negative, we'll just use the same words here. We would say, I do not travel. Oops. Okay, I do not travel. So then kind of our formula changes from the subject plus we have the do part. This part is, is not, it's difficult for many learners of English. And of course, because it doesn't exist in Spanish, we it's something we have to practice, right? So I do, and then the negative piece, and then travel, okay? And then one aspect of that is most people say don't, right? Don't. I don't travel often. And so we can move that often over to the end. I don't travel often. So that's kind of our the formula here for the present in the in the with the positive. This is our formula here for the negative. Okay. And then we, you know, in English. There are two ways that we identify a question. We change the order and we use a question mark, okay? You guys, I'm sure you know this already, but let's just kind of do our brief review here so we're all kind of, and then we can build on this in our next class. So if we change going back to the original kind of um, sentence, if we change it to a question, do I travel? It's kind of a strange question because we don't 
normally ask ourselves a question, but do I travel often? You can use that here at the end. So we've taken this do and we switched positions of the, um, of the, so we've got do here, we moved it here to the beginning. Do I travel often? And then the answer to this question is, these are called yes, no. So simply you can answer yes or no, and you don't need any other parts. If you want the more complete answer, right? You would say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay. And then one last kind of structure, I guess, uh, for the present tense is a, a more detailed question, like where we call them WH questions. And we use those when we want just more information, right? So where do I travel? When do I travel? Um, and those are probably the only two that make sense there. How, I guess you could say how. So the WH questions are, we usually say this, who, what, where, when, and how. This is not obviously WH, but we include that in our, these are called the WH questions, okay? So an example for a WH question here would be, um, where do I travel, right? So we've got the WH, if we're looking at this kind of formula, where the do auxiliary, the subject, and then your kind of your base verb, okay? So that's in general. And then the answer will be, I travel to Asia or I travel um, to, yeah, let's just say Asia, okay? So it's kind of a more complete answer, all right? Yeah, and this one is do, and the other, you know, if you're, we're using do because it's an I, but if it's, you know, he, she, right, then, then we're using does. Where, okay, so if we change this to a different subject, where does she travel? So because we have, this is our subject, she, then yes, we're going to change it to does, the third person. Okay. And the, keep in mind, like listening to the pronunciation of this, I talk a lot about pronunciation in my classes because I think it's really important. And, um, right. If you can't, you know, if you don't feel comfortable pronouncing things, then you're not going to speak. So I, I do have a separate kind of pronunciation class, but I really try to connect the grammar and pronunciation in each class. So when I do that, for example, here, it looks like this word is do's, right? But it's not. So when we talk about pronunciation, um, and we'll go over this a little bit more in future classes, but um, the pronunciation would be like this, right? So we use these lines, maybe Angeles in your classes, you've seen these or maybe Diego too. Um, but this means the pronunciation, so how it sounds. So that is the pronunciation for this word, does. So d, a, uh, and then a Z sound at the end there. So where does she travel? So this is the present tense. Sometimes we call it simple present tense, just kind of the basic first kind of steps into the grammar world. <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of, that's the end of that class. Have a good rest of your day.